here and today we're going to be doing the first part of the code vein story um i just finished the final boss so that way i can do a new game plus and uh i'm gonna set the difficulty to extreme so that way it's not as easy to go through um so um and then after i'm done with the story um then i'll do the um the tower of trials next so um so yeah, we're gonna do the story. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna be it in, you know, now because it's actually pretty late. It's 12 right now where I am. So, uh, but uh, I'll definitely stream for a while, not for like a long time, but um, you know. So uh, uh, let's just let's get started now. Begin new game. Yes. The story with the Hansen's. Uh, Star will be added to turn your code game and enhance the difficulty. Play the story again with, yeah, enhance the difficulty. That's what we're gonna do. Hold on, real quick, hold on. Sorry about that. There we go. Forgot to set the uh, audio to my headphones. through their veins, called a blood code. The best way to learn about it is to try it for yourself. Check your blood code. That is a fighter blood code, which is excellent for combat. Each talent that a blood code bestows is known as a gift. I love this theme a lot. The it's fighter really blood code thing. grants ever-increasing endurance. It reminds me a lot of, uh, Nier. Reminds me a lot of that game. Try to cut the adrenaline. from revenants who have forgotten themselves and turned into monsters. The Lost. You can drain Icor from the Lost by striking them with your weapon. Remember that. Those are the basics of a fighter's gifts. Use and learn each of them well. I should just realize that this reminds me a lot of Persona in a way, because you, you can have multiple blood codes, similarly to how you could have multiple Personas. Rangers are nimble and best at fighting with light weaponry. Try switching to a bayonet. Good old bayonet. I always love using the bayonet. That's much better, isn't it? Oh, firing your bayonet requires Icor as well. That and gifts means Icor always seems scant. That is where the blood veil you have equipped comes in. Using your blood veil will let you quickly drain Icor from the lost. In addition, this can increase the amount of Icor you can hold. If you have a chance to drain Icor from a foe, use it. Oh, 
There we go. That sums up the Ranger blood code and training. Let us try one more blood code. Now, turn your gaze inward. That is what is called the Caster Blood Code. Casters possess powers like magic from a fairy tale. With it, you can use gifts to fire projectiles of blood. Now, you learn quickly. Bloodshot favors range over power. Let's see. Try learning another gift. You can learn gifts by touching missiles. Try it yourself. That wasn't hard, was it? Now since you've learned it, why not try it out? Foes. However, its cost in Icor is high, so be careful that you use it at the right time. In addition, its power will change according to the blood veil you equip. Blood veils have different affinities for gifts. It can be complicated, but keep it in mind. The disappearance of your blood code has left you with unique, limitless capabilities. Not only can you change blood codes, but you can acquire new ones as well. The strength of others can become your own, a talent that you alone possess. Since you are the only one who can do this, your blood is the only teacher you have. Now, Awaken and save the world. And the journey begins. <laughs> Welcome back. Hello. How are you feeling? I love Zio, she's so cute. Don't worry, it's okay. I don't remember either. Over there. It's dry, isn't it?
We can go slowly. I am here with you. Just a bit farther. We're all right. A spring will slake our thirst. I had been waiting. Oh yeah, in case you're wondering, the ending I'm gonna go for is the good ending. So I'm gonna look for all the the uh, memories and stuff like that. Look for all of them. I mean, I don't have to find all of them, but I just have to find the ones with successors. That's all you'll find. It seems everyone, everywhere is thirsty. There is a spring that will cure that thirst. One that weeps tears of blood. That's what they said, anyway. This way. So, it is you. Uh, here, this is for you. I wish we could romance her. <laughs> it looks like you can't romance anyone in this game. I never would romance her. A new spring and a fresh source of labor. <laughs> we really hit the jackpot. Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. So, what happened to your masks? Forgotten about those too, have you? I'll tell you whatever you want to know, but first, go back there and put on a purifier mask. Let her sleep. She wore herself out watching over you.
This one's dry. The miasma's pretty thick. Damn it! We're running out of time before the next collection. Everything's ready. Right. I'm on my way. <laughs> all dried up. Just like the others. Y yeah all dried up. So there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's... <laughs> You know what these are, right? Blood beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. You see, it's only a short time before the collectors come to take our levy. But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Well, that's the long and short of it. W why does it have to be us? Don't ask me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. You lot go first. Get to work. Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. <laughs> Realistically, I could kick these guys' asses easily. <laughs> Whoa there! You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. You heard him. Move it! Ouch. Hey, you okay? It looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. Now, of course, I'm going to keep, even though I can't actually pick the other characters, I'm going to stick to Oliver for now. I'm going to stick to him for now. Well, should we set out? Alright, let's go. Oh, it's crazy. No, I don't want to do that. No. If that ladder was down, we could get up. A dead lost. I've never seen one before. I say dead, but they're not really dead. It's just a dormant state before they turn into real monsters. Okay, so I've heard. Sometimes it takes a years to get to the start. So you can just leave them. Please don't fall. Well, they're definitely a little tougher because now they can actually take it. They can take more. Damage. Because before I could kill him in one hit. Whatever you can to survive. They're still pretty easy though. Wow. Sure. Oh, they can pretty much take two hits. <laughs> That's about it. Is there something good in there? Let's go. 
Yeah, I pretty much played this area a ton of times. I pretty much know where all the animals are and stuff. Fine, really. <laughs> that wasn't very convincing, was it? These masks are the old type. Hard to breathe in them. How are you doing? That girl, she's your friend, right? We should find some blood and go back to her quick. There we go. Ah, lost up above. Hold on, mate. Just lift down here. Hold on. Let me get that real quick. This door. All right, let's get to me now. Oh, wait, chest. Let me open that. Is there something good in there? Of course, take this secret path down. Nice there. landing. Is there something good in there? Will that come in handy? Yeah. Sneak up on this guy. Oh, didn't they pass us earlier? Are you okay? Did you get hurt? Could have gone better. I'll catch up with you in a bit. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Go on. I unfortunately <laughs> doubt that all. Of you it. just focus on finding some blood beads, all right? That girl is waiting for you. All over, man. Take out these purple turds and take these guys out.
activate this from this one. Now it's me, and then I'll kill the rest of them. First, let me get that item over there real quick. Now I'll kill the big dude on the other side. fight this game now. There we go. He's dead. Get the chest. My boy Louis. A fellow explorer? It appears you're alone. I'm on my own at the moment, too. But I was hoping for a partner for the path ahead. What do you say? Would you mind working together? At least until we're through here? Don't worry. I'm not gonna stab you in the back. My asthma and the lost here are enough trouble as it is. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to say no. <laughs> no, I'll go with that. Thanks a lot. I'm glad to work with you. For this guy to come over and then I'll take him out. I'm not gonna rush in. I'll take out the Let's other guys first. Open, all right. Take care of that big guy on the left side. Won't take long. Hold on, there's something up here, real quick. That was well hidden.
Could that really be? That. Could you fill me in on the details later? We're not far from the surface now. What do we have here? You guys can hide all you want. I know where you are. So I know where you are. <laughs> Did you pick up something we can use? There. <laughs> By the time he does get back, I'll probably kill the boss. Actually, hold on. Before we do the boss, um, let me go back to that one missile. So that way, if I, in case I die, I don't have to way. go through all that again. I'm mean, gonna have to kill those guys again, but I get them pretty quickly. There we go. So if I do die, then I'll start here. Where does my bolts went to him? That's weird. Anything? Lost fight time. Good. That's light from the surface. Once someone is lost, they can never come back. 
cast aside the doubt. Sorry, Oliver, but I got killed down, unfortunately. All right. By the way, both of you, all revenants must pay a levy. There are no exceptions. A vestige. Best to stay away from those stones. Anyone who touches them is defiled, transformed into the lost. Don't listen to their whispers. Someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads. We won't make it. Once she's settled down, let's get out of here. Wait, what are you... Let go! It'll swallow you up! It's alright. You can do it. Please, Please, let us let keep us them keep just, this, just once. this once. We won't make it if you take them. All revenants must, must pay a levy of blood beads. There are no exceptions. Sorry. Sorry. Daddy! Mommy! Someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads, we won't make it. The few humans that remain are under Silver's control. Wandering revenants like us, forced to hunt for blood beads, or face death. Even if some revenants must be sacrificed for our survival. I 
just use you what you sell, right? Well, that's all right. What's important is that at least one of us makes it. This is a memory echo. It's a place where lost recollections still wander. Come, let's move on. If you use that stairway, I believe it should take us back to the world outside this memory. Is this the past of one of the lost? No, there's no way. What was that? It was a memory carved into that vestige by the one who left it behind. I didn't expect that I'd get dragged into it, too. We both melted into you. I can't believe this. What a power. Come with me. I know a spot where we can rest. I'm Louie. I'm researching blood beads. Nice to meet you. Ugly, isn't it? The Red Mist showed up a short time after the Queen was defeated. And when it did, it trapped everyone and everything inside, giving birth to the Society of Revenants ruled by Silva. The Jail of the Mists. As time passed, that was the name people gave to the world inside. The creatures trapped inside the miasma wander in a never-ending cycle of death and rebirth. Always searching for blood beads to sustain them. Revenants need to have blood. Without it, they turn into those creatures we call the Lost. The Revenants who captured you were desperately searching for blood, terrified of losing themselves. It's a common fate these days. But ripples are beginning to form. You cleared the miasma and revitalized the blood spring. Where did you learn to do that? I can't say, I can't talk, that's why. <laughs> You've forgotten? Anything you do remember? It's unusual, losing so much of your memory. I suppose it was the same for her. For now, just take it easy. 
looking a bit tired. We can talk again later. Your friend is probably lonely in a place like this. I'll have to say hello to her sometime. It's warm here, isn't it? Everyone wants to know more about me, but I don't know the answer to any of their questions. All I can remember is that my name is Io, and that my place is by your side. My name... I have no idea what it means. I'm not sure. It was simply decided. One does what must be done. And for me, that is my mission. To stay at your side. I was wounded while I was searching for you. I am not a very capable fighter. <laughs> yeah, you're one of the best to have. <laughs> That's funny, she says she's not a capable fighter, but when you get her, she's one of the best. <laughs> you're an unfamiliar face. Has Louis stuck his head into another pot of trouble? Well, it's none of my business, really. Anyway, I'm Coco, a merchant by trade. Stop by if you need anything. All revenants carry some secret with them. Don't do anything funny. I'll be keeping an eye on you until this talk with Louis settles down. Nice to meet you. If Louis brought you here, there must be some reason, right? I'm Rin Murasame. I provide the back home support for all the explorers here. It's a pleasure. I've got my own reasons for why I can't go into combat with you, but I'll provide your weaponry and maintain it for you. Anyway, relax and make yourself at home. There you are, the revenant that Louis sees so much potential in. I'm Davis. I go around for the Provisional Government as part of the investigation into the depths. Just as a warning, try not to stir up any trouble. If you do, I won't be able to do my job and, well, you get it, right? The ability to draw strength from experiencing memories, and the power to revitalize blood springs, both unprecedented. Sorry, but could I get a sample of your blood? We might understand more if we analyzed it. It won't be much, just a small vial, so you won't need to worry about bloodthirst. It'll take a while to get the results. Take it easy in the room back there while you wait. Did anything change down here? Or is it always the same? I think it's always the same, yeah. something surprising. Revenants have blood types that differ from those of humans. These types greatly affect a revenant's abilities. However, your blood has no specific type. Or maybe more accurately, your type is broken. Your abilities, and the fact that you have no specific type, might be due to your being what we call a void type. You were able to gain another revenant's power through a vestige, right? That phenomenon is unique to Void Types. Supposing you are a Void Type, there's a test I'd like to perform. Don't worry, you'll get something out of it. I'm going to give you some of my blood. If my theory is correct, it should act as a medium and give my power to you. Well, here goes. Did you go visit Murasame and Coco? They should be ready to do business now. 
Weapons and blood veils are vital parts of a Revenant's kit when exploring. You should take another look at them. If you've got materials, upgrade and transform them. Once you've got that settled, talk to me again, and we'll continue where we left off. I've got just about anything you could want. If you want it, I got it. Come again soon. All revenants carry some, don't do. Okay, yeah. Oh, good timing. I've got everything set up now. What do you need? Which weapon do you want to transform? Which blood veil do you want to transform? That's cool that allows you to decrease the difficulty. That's really cool. Of course, I'm not gonna decrease it. I'm gonna keep it the way it is. You remember that scene we witnessed at the Vestige? That kind of stuff happens every day here. Silva has taken most of the humans who survived under his protection. So revenants are left to rely on blood beads alone to slake their unending thirst. But... Well... Nothing in this world lasts forever. The springs started to dry up, and so blood beads grew rarer and rarer. And the order Silva created by levying and distributing blood beads... ...won't last much longer either. The world needs more blood beads. Only then can we strive for fairness instead of petty favoritism. That's why we've been exploring the Jail of the Mists. We're doing research to learn all we can about blood beads. But the miasma has been a real problem. It makes our thirst even worse, so our progress has stalled. Now, though, we have a glimmer of hope. Your power can clear the miasma. If you could help us, well, you'd be drawn into a bitter conflict. Still, the truth is, we don't have a lot of hope without you. Will you join us? <sighs> Thanks. So, it's a done deal? <laughs> well then, from now on... You're one of us. I couldn't even see my hand. <laughs> Yakumo Shinanome. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to seeing you in action. Let's get right into it. Here's what's going on. We're studying blood beads and their springs. We want to know how and when blood springs appear, their cycles for producing beads, and the composition of the beads themselves. We've made a few discoveries. First of all, we found that there are tubes like capillaries running through the earth. We call them blood veins. And so far as we can determine, Every single blood spring is located on top of one of these blood veins. Also, after comparing blood beads and blood veins, we now know that they are mostly comprised of the same substances. In other words, we can safely assume that blood springs always form along blood veins. And we think that means there must be a source somewhere. A kind of headwaters for the blood beads. 
Now that we have you around to clear the miasma, we can investigate the springs and follow the blood veins. And hopefully, find the source. Right? We want to check out the old city ruins first. Sorry for the rush, but we should head out as soon as you're ready. I'm trying to just to be on now. Oh, you're exploring this area too? I'm a merchant of sorts. I wander around selling valuables as I explore. The miasma has gotten pretty thin here lately, eh? Thought it might be dangerous, but came all the same. I haven't seen a fellow explorer for a while, though. I think we were fated to meet. Take this map of the depths. I'll be around here for a while. If you want to buy anything, let me know. Don't hesitate to come back if you need anything. Let's make it another good day. Now we can climb up from below. Alright, so it's at the city ruins now. We can certainly use this. I don't know why the frames drop. Well, I guess because it's along the next area, that's why. I think that's why the frames are like dropping. That's something. <laughs> Expectations exceeded. That settles it. You are absolutely vital to our operation. There are more blood springs ahead, but the miasma is blocking the way forward. Do you think you could clear it for us again? Thank you. We know where two springs are thanks to past expeditions. Let's go have a look at them. The territory up ahead is teeming with the lost. Watch yourself.
used to be a lot of people here. We found something valuable today. This is a steep slope. Was it level before? still have life in them. I know where all you guys are. There's no point in hiding. <laughs> Got big mambo over here. What is it? You okay? Yo, Louis. You smell that? Yeah. Human blood. An escapee? Now, where did she run off to? Huh? 
Hey, chumps! What the hell are you doing here? None of your business. Oh, really? Then tell me this. Why would scum like you have the sweet stink of a human on you? The girl belongs to us. Put your paws on our property and your ash. That clear? Well, the way you're moving, I, I doubt you'll do anything. You're right. You're moving all weird and stuff. <laughs> Fresh blood is some powerful stuff. You hanging in there? So, what's the plan now? We know it's just a matter of time until they find that missing human. You know the plan. Hell yeah. Let's hope she hasn't been devoured by horrors yet. I don't know what it is with bad guys in like Japanese games that they always have to like move all weird and stuff. Because <laughs> it was in the Yakuza game they do that too.
an enormous hole. We're gonna head down here first. This ladder is new to me. Slow and steady. That item. Heading there now. Did you find something good? The arms of Damn it, whoops. <laughs> I don't know why I went that way, that was stupid of me. <laughs> I thought I was close enough. Show me to the other one instead. Oh well. You're finally awake again. It's fine. It's not like I'm trying to upgrade or anything, so losing haste doesn't really bother me. Must be using a melee attack. This ring has a shield that looks like I'm expecting to come out. We have come to a crossroads. Just gonna head to the hole right now. Please don't fall off, all right? Sorry. We have recovered something valuable.
Gotta wait for this fog to go away. Alright, here we go. Just cut straight through the mist. I'll take a bit more than that to keep us from getting lost. Let's take a break here. Oh, this? It's called onigiri. It's a kind of food that's easy to carry around. Not that there's any point in eating food for a revenant. Although we may thirst for blood, we never grow hungry. Still, I think that makes eating all the more meaningful for us. We fight. We drink blood. We revive. We fight some more. Our lives are pretty much one endless loop. But every time you go around, you almost forget that we were all human once. If I completely lost the memory of my human past, I wouldn't be me anymore. I would just be... something in the shape of me. I'd look like a revenant, but on the inside I'd be no different than the lost. What's the point of living like that? I served in the army, back before I became a revenant. We always used to eat these things when we were out on missions. I guess... It helps me remember. It was a miserable time. But I made some good friends that I shouldn't let myself forget. This stuff doesn't really taste that great. But eating it always reminds me of those friends. So, I guess you could say it helps me stay me. It's been an important companion in my life. Okay, all set. Come on, let's get going. There's a blood spring up ahead. Be careful not to lose your bearings, all right? If we get split up in this mist, we may never be able to find each other again. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the stream here, it's getting really late right now, I need to go to bed, so uh, I'll see you all later, uh, thank you all for joining, uh, I hope you like this stream, and uh, I hope to see you in the next one, so take care and have a nice day, or night, depending on where you are, um, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you later.